Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English and this is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we shall have the discussion of the important questions from very famous poem titled Homecoming Sun, composed by Say Gay Gay, Say Gay, Gabri Mathin. Uh, Say Gay, uh, Gabri Mathin. And this poem is prescribed for the fourth semester BCA, BSc, Jandik English syllabus under Bangalore University and the Bangalore North University NEP syllabus. So I have already done the video on the explanation of this poem. You can go through the videos link in the description box. So let's have the discussion of the important questions from the poem, Homecoming Sun. The very first question we have here, how does the poet call back the son who has abandoned his home? Answer is here in his poem, Homecoming Sun, Sege talks about an educated African man who feels like a guest in his own land after returning from abroad. Through this poem, the poet tries to guide this man who is like a lost child in his own land. The poet invites a strange African child to be part of his native culture. Native culture. He calls the man as barefoot boy, unholy stranger. The poet advises the man to walk freely and peacefully because he is walking in his own land. He is guided by his ancestral spirits, spirits and the earth of his mother's native land will soothe his tiring and worn out bare feet. The poet tries to remind the man not to forget where his roots are and finally ask him to renew his roots with his own people and culture as he has been separated from his roots for a long time. Question number two, bring out the characteristics of the home or native land as portrayed in the poem, Homecoming Sun. The poet invites a strange African child to a part of his native culture. He calls the man as a barefoot boy, unholy stranger. The poet advises the man to walk freely and peacefully because he's walking in his own land. Ethiopia is the land of the eighth harmony in the rainbow. Here, the poet tries to remind them about the identity, color, and rich culture of tome storms, a cylindrical musical instrument vibrated by the, fa by the fathers in the fearful silence and where songs were sung keeping the lips closed because they fought long for the independence. They fought long for independence. The poet is asking the young sons to walk proud. The poet tries to remind the man not to forget his roots and finally ask him to renew his roots with his own people and culture as he has been separated from his roots for a long time other than being a prodigal son spending money carelessly. They could hear the bird songs singing about their suspended family names. The winds of Ethiopia whisper the golden names of tribal warriors of the land. The roots of his motherland celebrated the return of the homecoming son because he was lost and finally he was found also. <clears throat> As his nature is well known to his people, he would be shown sympathy and consideration. So his own home was the only paradise, a place of supreme bliss for him. He enjoyed the blessings of outward sunshine and inward peace and happiness. Question number three, what does the expression your foreign outfit signify and why is the poet asking him to come out of his outfit? Explain. The poem is in the form of a welcome note to a long lost son who returns home. The homecoming son is addressed to, a, to as an unholy stranger. He's like a lost child who feels like a guest in his own land. The poet invites a stranger to be part of his native land. The poet calls his land, the land of eighth harmony in the rainbow that is black. The phrase your foreign outfit likely refers to clothing that signifies a foreign or no native identity, possibly suggesting that the person who is wearing it is out of place or not in the usual environment. 
In the poem Homecoming Sun, the poet might be asking the individual to come out of the foreign outfit to shade the known native identity and return to their out return to the roots, or we can say the original identity. This could be a metaphorical plea for the person to embrace the true self and reconnect with the heritage or origins. That's the reason he says here, your foreign outfit. And he says that he asked them to come out of this outfit to accept the originality, to accept his own heritage or his own origin. Question number four. Why does the poet call his mother why does the poet call his motherland a work of art? In the process of welcoming back home, the poem, the poem portrays the glorious heritage, the rich culture and the pride of being black in a place called home, that is Ethiopia. The poem is a welcome note to the unholy stranger who has abandoned his home, Ethiopia. In his poem, Homecoming Son, Sege talks about an educated African man who feels like a guest in his own land after returning from abroad. Through this poem, the poet guides the man who is like a lost child in his own land. The poet invites a strange African child to be part of his native culture. The poem describes the black, the black as eight harmony means one in rainbow and the darker side of moon which brings into light. He mentions that black is the artistic stroke. I'm, so, I'm sorry, there's, there's a spelling error. The black is the artistic stroke, S-T-R-O-K, artistic stroke of God's creativity. The poet calls the man as a barefoot boy, unholy, <clears throat> unholy stranger. He advises the boy to walk freely, peacefully, with the head tall, and without foreign outfit, because he's walking in his own land. He should feel the Mother Earth, should feel the soothing breath of Mother Earth. The poet reminds that the land is his roots, where his forefathers enjoyed the tomb tombs in the fearful silence of the valleys. Vibrations of the tomb tombs shook the Colossus, the, the Colossus mountains, the poet encourages the son to walk with pride and know the value of the place. Finally, the poet further says the boy to listen the calls of his ancestors. He should know the value of the one peace and culture as he has been separated from his roots for a long time other than being a prodigal son spending money lavishly. The soil of Ethiopia is welcoming such lavish sun back home. They could hear the bird songs singing about the suspended family names. The winds of Ethiopia whispers the golden names of tribal warriors of the land. The poet urges the sun to walk in laughter, rhythm, walk tall, walk naked with full of freedom and independence that the root of motherland cares his body let his naked body absorb the home sun and the shiny ebony. That's about the, the poem, Homecoming Sun. So friends, this is how I tried my best to solve the questions from the famous poem, Homecoming Sun. That's in the fourth semester BCA, BSc, Gendic English and the BU and BNU. If you like this video, click on the like button, write in the comment box, share it to your friends, your classmates, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe. If you have any questions, any queries, please do reach me at mukeshenglish at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned with Mukesh English.